I decided that we'd get a bunch of old triumphs together and take a trip down memory lane, try and find out what it was like back then. You know, the days of Marlon Brando, the wild one. Oh, speaking of the wild one, hey look, what's all this? It's nostalgia day, Johnny. You should have your black leathers on in your old bike. You told me you were coming on a Triumph. I didn't know you meant a new one. This is a classic Triumph. What's wrong with you? 110 horsepower, 160 kilos. Goes around the racetracks in an instant. This is a classic Triumph. Trust you, you just don't get it, do you? Look, we've got these lovely old machines I'm to... I'm not interested in these oil-leaking, Marlin Brando, tassel leathers. Nah. Look, just do as you're told for a change. Go and get that kit off and get your ass on one of these old bikes. I mean, owning a Triumph Bonneville all those years ago would be the... Equivalent of owning a Yamaha R1 today. You know, these really were great little bikes back in their day. Oh, come on, lady, go! Come on! Just pulling open the throttle is uh, making my triceps ache already. The clutch is really stiff, and I've got to be honest, I've really no idea what gear I'm in. Stranded in that lay-by back there on her oh-so-retro and cool Triumph Bonneville. I'm out here enjoying the sunshine and the country roads on the new Daytona 600. It's very comfortable to ride, so don't worry about being cramped up or squeezed into a racer crouch if you're tall. It's comfortable. Uh, the clock's are minimalist. The screen here at the front is minimalist. The brakes are stunning. The handling is great. But the real thing that sets this bike aside from any previous Triumph Sports Bike is this engine. Four cylinders, 600 cc, and it goes like absolute stink because this is a proper 600 Super Sports Sports Bike. It's fun, you know, there's this, this 30, 40 year difference between these two bikes, you know, the Bonneville that you've been riding today and, and that Daytona. <laughs> I mean, you had a great time on that Bonnie today, I didn't did, you? I did, yeah. yeah. I mean, it handles fine, but the kind of speed you're going to go. Does it have any brakes? <laughs> but it was a performance bike in its time, and it, I mean, yeah. it so isn't now, is it? It's just a, it's just a kind of, it's a, it's a funky little cruiser thing. Yeah, yeah, it would have been the top of its tree, wouldn't it? It's like the equivalent of, I guess, the Yamaha R1 today. Yeah. What kind of person do you think would buy the Daytona? Because to me, it's like full on track bike, yeah? Yeah, it is. With that thing, it's an aggressive looking bike and it goes as well as it looks. So it's people who want proper in your face, you know, sports bike handling and performance. And for the first time ever, um, a Triumph are right up there with the Japanese. So, um, so how much are these old Triumphs are? Well, the yellow one I was riding, it's right. worth a grand total of about two and a half, three grand. Well, how much for an original one, like that other one out there? Talking about six and a half grand for an original. Six and a half thousand pounds. Mm -hmm. You can get brand new Daytona 600 for less than that. Investment? No, it's not investment, that's madness. I'm out. Oh, no, it's not investment. Hey, come on, come back. We're going in the rocket shop. <laughs> oh. 